This topic is graphing a line given its equation in point slope form. So in order for me to make it um, so that I can graph it, you always want to graph it when it's in this form. So that you can begin with this point, which is the y-intercept, and then you can move according to your slope, okay? So in order to do that, the first thing we need to do is distribute these, this negative one-third. So negative one-third times x is negative one-third x. Negative one-third times positive four, if you use your calculator, you will get negative four-thirds. Then if I minus four to both sides, I get that y equals negative one-third x, and let's see negative four-thirds minus four is negative 16 over three. Now this is the equation that I would use to graph. However, my y-intercept is a fraction. So in the computer, I'll have to select the button that has something like this in a box. And when I click on that, it's gonna open up some coordinates for me and I have to type them in. Now because I'm talking about the y-intercept, the x-coordinate should be zero. The y-coordinate should be this value, which is negative 16 over three. Now that will plot that spot. So if I th talk about that, that's negative one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, that's gonna be about right here. Oh no, I'm sorry. One, two, three, four, five, Six. It's actually going to be about right here because it's a y-intercept, not an x-intercept. There we go. Now, in order for me to get the second point, it's going to be a little bit more complicated to get, okay? If I were to plug in zero here, this would zero out and I would end up with that negative 16 over 3. However, if I plug in a 1 into this function, what would I get? I would get negative one-third minus sixteen-thirds, which is negative seventeen-thirds. You could also use your calculator to get that. And what that means is that when I plug in one, I should get negative seventeen-thirds, which means the line should be going in this direction. In the computer, you will select this option again, and when it opens up the pair for you to type in, you will type in one, and negative 17 over three. Once you've got the two dots marked on the computer, you can then select the button that has the arrow and then just connect this dot to this dot and the computer will draw the arrow for you, okay? But that is how you graph a line, even if it's given in a different form other than the slope-intercept form that we're used to. You just manipulate it and you can still graph it.